back and the 14 year old Miwa Haramoto will serve. respect to each coach in the corner and she will begin now woman in yellow Top off the net and she misses a sitter, Miwa. Wow, I hope that's a sign of things to come entertainment wise in her. Yeah, Fraser, you know, I'm smiling all this while thinking, just put things in perspective. Miwa Harimoto is only 14 years old, <laughs> barely in high school. And she's the best cadet in the world. She's a cadet. Yeah. Cadet. This girl hasn't even taken a GCSE yet, or whatever the equivalent is in Japan. And, and love this thing about Ilana. sport, right? That people from all nations, all ages, all backgrounds have the ability to be there and express themselves. And the one who's better on the table on that day will take away the show. Indeed, indeed. Nice fluid backhand, stamps her foot on the serve to mask the indication of how much spin she put on there. Brilliant de redirection there from Chan Suyu. even get back to ball there Miwa as fast as she is Stop. wide forehand exposed taste of the old medicine there yeah it was tit for tat out there <laughs> Ah, lovely serve by Chen Ziyu. Indeed. And she will have played many players younger than her before. So I don't think she'll even be thinking about that right now. She knows the Haramoto threat. And she's just treating her as another opponent. Slowing things down there. And Miwa disrupted by that change of pace. You could see it. She came in for the counter actually too early. And it didn't come through as she thought it would. Switching as soon as she can. And that, I think, will be a telling sign as to who may win this match. Whoever can switch wide first really has the best chance of winning the rally. She knows she's up for a scrap here, Miwa. Yeah, slowly getting in the game, settling in well. She's trying to increase the pace now in both her spins and the receives to match what Chen Ziyu has to offer. Wow, brave right. step around. It was so strong that Miwa, even though she saw the opportunity, couldn't play it down the line to the open space. Miwa Haramoto has just beaten Kasumi Ishikawa in the previous round. Now, if that isn't telling the Japanese coaches that she's ready now, I don't know what is. Wow! She braces for impact there after somehow recovering it from the middle. Incredible play from the 14-year-old protege. I thought I may have hit a shirt for a second, that forehand. Yeah, and it seemed like she was so sure of that backhand that it was a simple guiding the ball. Very, very confident. And again, Fraser, you rightly said it is a game of who can make that switch first and leave the forehand not open. Guess what bat she's using, Miwa Haramoto. Her brother's personal signature blade. Wow, now that is a story. How beautiful this is. <laughs> Wow, I mean, that tells you, doesn't it, 
the characteristics of that blade being similar, that she's trying to replicate what her brother is, and that's definitely come from, that, come from their parents. Has to have. For sure, they're aggressive, both on the court. They love finishing the rally quickly. Wonder how they'll make as a mixed doubles pair. <laughs> nice. Strawberry push, counter wide. It does not get any better than that. He said, I do not want to live in the shadow of my brother. I want to pave my own way in the sport, have my own name, achieve my own things. One day indeed yeah, with done. the level of table tennis she's shown in the last six points, she will surely make her mark soon at the international arena, just like her brother has done. Like her brother beat Jumi Titani, she beat Ishikawa. And now she's hey, here. Hey. Expect to see a lot more of Miwa Haramoto. She'll be someone that the fans love to watch, but her opponents hate to play, and she's going to be around for a very, very long time. So get used to seeing her here on show courts at such events. Jumping when she yeah, played that yeah, parallel yeah. forehand, good. And the same gracious. level, and somebody who's still 55 and dominating in her age. It's beautiful. Yeah. Just a little bit upright Voila. when she played that backhand and took it slightly earlier. She could have afforded more dwell. Forehand you want to take early, backhand you can take a bit later. Well, she's going for the strawberry push more than she's going for the strawberry flick, which tells me that she's happy to counter a heavy topspin ball. Miwa Haramoto. Not afraid to send the ball along with backspin. She knows what's going to come, a slow spin. One, two. That was a dead ball, I believe. Yep. Contacted it probably towards the bottom of the racket, so not as much topspin. So low to the net, though and great anatomical contortion. Too hard. She also beat Min Hyung Ji of Australia in the round of 48 before toppling the poster girl of Japan, Kasumi Ishikawa. Chansu Yu defeated Linda Bergström the Swedish chopper 3-1 in the previous round. She had a bye, Chen Su Yu, into the main draw. Didn't have to play the round of 48 as a seed. Three on. Winner of this match will play the winner of Chen Chen Yi and Manaka Batra. Manaka facing her toughest test yet in the Chinese left-handed young player coming player Chen Chen Yang. She's already won a contender and feeder. Stop. Not a star contender. Right, Much more stability here in this game from Chen Su Yu. She can if she can control her unforced errors. I think she's already in the game then. Right, Good Five, three. Miwa Haramoto too upright and came up the back of an already very top spin ball. She looks like a brother, doesn't she? For sure she does. Totally different hairstyle though. Base is so wide, I've noticed, of Miwa. So wide. Which makes her automatically lower and more balanced. Can see you frustrated. She has the serves though. A lot of tapping of uh, the foot you saw here, Fraser. And it tells so much that she's trying to control the ball a lot. 
the but tactics are clear. Unsuccessful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, just overextending Miwa. Well. She's Chance. been a bit erratic in this game, I believe. Yeah, for sure. That's the better percentage. Like that. And I think I heard an Indian fan saying, come on, Miwa. Women's rally we may have seen in terms of athletic display here on table one so far. She was forced behind the table and look how despite going back she comes onto the table back into the rally. Oh, the reverse pendulum, you saw them for the first time in this yeah. game so far. I can't remember it. when I commentated the final between herself and Jung Wei at the contender last season. I can't recall her ever playing the reverse pendulum. Is this a new weapon in her inventory or did she always have it but just not use it? <laughs> Controlling her breathing, you can really see that. Chen Su Yu's going to have to do the same. Two ahead still, highest ranked player from Team Chinese Taipei, with two serves to come as well, so be happy with that. Two away. Oh, nice. Strategized though. Very. And suddenly you see the switching of extreme forehand is not working anymore. No. Nice. She took that second backhand a bit longer. Chan Su Yu thought she was going to go across court, but she didn't. It was a double bluff from Miwa Haramoto. Got the serves here, serving for survival in the second game. The arena here, everyone in it, captivated. Oh. What a serve. <laughs> I'm still puzzled. Was it a deep? Uh, it was a top spin or backspin. was a long back spin? Long back spin, I believe. Yeah, but that was a. Uh, it, it was out for Chen Su Yu. Mm. <laughs> wow, so brave from Miwa Harimoto. She isn't shy of playing what she knows the best. Close to the table, and look at that forehand, so deep and wide on the backhand side. Fraser here is speechless. I'm impressed. I'm seriously impressed with this. Oh, a net yeah, for Chun. That's a way to break the momentum. Breaking the net cord. She does it. She really escaped. Beat her about. Absolutely. We'll see what Thank Coach Mazakawa for me had a more thought said. The coach in the Lahore. corner for Chun Su Yu is Coach Huang. Stop. Another net cord initially. But she was trying to go into the middle. So good tactics. It wasn't, say, a 100% fortunate shot where it hits the hand, hits the net. Nice control. A lot of down the middle play now. Back to the strategy of game one. Let one hold. And if you're new to table tennis and want wondering why do players hit end up hitting the net cord is because they want the ball to say stay as low as possible near the net 
which is much harder for the opponent to send it back because the much w ball will be lower and then they got to flex it more they got to produce more spin and work more to send the ball back well if Miwa Haramoto is going to play the strawberry push long she needs to get that bat high quick ready to counter because Chen Suyu is going to grease it with topspin and she's probably going to put it into the middle or forehand because she knows how good Miwa can punch cross court Excellent use of the shovel serve by Miva. Like so many of the Japanese women do, we know Harano really brought it into fashion. Stop. With the serves, Chun Su Yu. Good flick Four through three. the fingers, the thumb pressured, the forefinger loose, the wrist loose. And some springiness through the forearm. Comes around the side of that. The banana flick, aka the Chiquita flick. No! Direct. A lot of players now are choosing to actually dominate play from the middle with the backhand side because it's a less expensive stroke. It takes less time to recover from a backhand than it does with the forehand. Yeah, and also it could probably give you more angle on the deep corner. Five, four. You can see where your opponent's moving in front of you. It's just similar to the backhand serve. With the four with the you know pendulum serve when you're on the side, you've got to look in your peripheral. You don't when you're all square to the table. Kick her, Five, but she came four. up the back of the ball, Miwa. It's her bat height that is her um, difficulty right now. Her bat's too low should be higher to be able to get over the top of the balls. Mm, that was a lovely five, five, six. Five. Stamped to exaggerate it as well. Yeah, and both the players are just maintaining form. It's it's so nice to see the game be as close as possible right now. That is a much more animated Harimoto. <laughs> nice pivot transition. Five. Through the ball there, Miwa Haramoto with some very, very good technique. And I've not seen that more often in this game so far. This is probably the first time she did the step around mm. on the serve. Maybe she needs to hunt more attackable balls with the forehand. Yeah, and yeah. that's what it is for attackers, right? You have to hunt. The ball will not be given to you on the plate. You gotta hunt for the right opportunities to create a good opening for you to then smash the balls. What a turnaround. Blinking, you miss it. Beautiful it is. 8 5 in no time. <laughs> no! Nice, she is My so turn. good. For a 14 year old, I wonder if she'd be as good as Kwai Man is when she's 18, probably at this rate. If you assume any rate of improvement over time, she will be unbeatable for some of these Chinese women. Because China do not have a 14-year-old as good as Niwa Hanamoto. Otherwise, they'd, maybe they would be here, maybe they wouldn't. But I don't think they do. That's everything you ever want as well as upcoming events on the WTT website and social media pages. Stop. But back to this now, Chen Su Yu with the serves. Let La ball. <laughs> Absolutely Lava. beautiful from Chen Su Yu and this is what she needs to do to survive in the game. Just up the speed and go for the attack early on. Stop. Yeah, just applying la subtle more pressure than what she was in the previous two games. I think a good tactic of Chan Tzu Yu could be actually pinning the forehand over and over again of Miwa Haramoto. Forehand to forehand she was beating her. One, Seems to recover a little bit quicker on the forehand Chen than Miwa. The follow through of Miwa's forehand is bigger, that's the reason why. 
Yeah, she takes much more time. There's a twist when she she allows to twist and then makes the forehand attempt. Mm. That was nice. Just in awe of that push, how heavy the initial push was, but Chansa, you dealt with it so well with the backhand brush up. Yeah, slight change in the positioning. It was a very nice body. It was not. It, it was a good middle that Chenzi you found for from Miwa Harimoto. And like you said, Fraser, she has uh, she allows time for forehand, and thus it is important to find the middle because the wingspan for Harimoto is slightly larger than Chenzu Yu. Are we going to a fifth, ladies and gentlemen? Looks like it, but we know how fast things can turn around. Look at Elizabeth Samara against Chung Yi Ching in the fourth game, early one in the day. 9-2, she turned it around and won the game. Six yeah, two. looks like slipping from Miwa Harimoto mm. this game. She beat Chen last time, it's different settings now. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was simply insane. The backhand and the rolling of the wrist, Fraser. Just look at that. So clean, so sharp, right in the body. No answers from Chen Zuyu. And you get one more. Hang on. It's coming back again. No. Ah, she misses <laughs> that. No way, Jose. You thought it was over, didn't you, Neha? <laughs> I surely did. And this is going to hurt Harimoto a lot. Oh, it was like a praying mantis, oh, that action. It was beautiful. It felt like she was doing the shovel serve, but she ended up doing the side spin pendulum. Just beautiful deception by Miva. Chen Su Yu really hasn't made, had to make too many big shots to win this game. And it again proves the point that the game is becoming closer to the table with shorter and sharper strokes. The change in ball has had a huge impact. And I think the recognition that you don't want to give your opponent too much time has made players want to play closer to the table. I love the intention though. Just look at how aggressive she was. Right, it doesn't matter about what the score is, she's going to be re no. aggressive regardless. No. Five, nine. Beautiful dummy spin. She had a disappointing feeder. She lost to Wu Yang Chun of China, who's a good player, but Miwa would have hoped to beat her. No. She's coming from that tournament now, playing leaps and bounds better. Six, nine. And she's 6-9 down, but she can finish this game well, regardless of what happens. She's going to make Chen Su Yu a little bit more nervy going into the fifth no. game, if it goes to that stage. Let's see. No. Nine, seven. This is getting tense. <laughs> yeah. I think Chun it was the second game where she recovered yes. from two points down. Yes, no. yes. I think it was. <sighs> Clever. Kicker. That's the beauty of the shovel. You don't know where the ball is going to dig and whether it is. 10-7. Three game points. No. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Brave from Miva Harimoto. She actually increases the pace and the spin in that receiving as if she wants to just kill the ball right there. Unreal. Unreal. She's great behind the serves. She could level this. She really could. We'll find out soon. No. No. 
love this phrase. I love this absolutely. Keen to know what will be the next serve from Miva. Is it going to be the shovel or the pendulum? We don't have to wait long, thankfully. Any bets? I think it's the shovel by what she's looking like here. It is. <laughs> and she indeed does level. How brave is this 14-year-old young girl from Japan? She is absolutely fearless playing somebody double her age much more experienced but look at her absolutely killing it last six of the eight points but let's not forget the net that happened for Chun Su Yu the last time this happened in this match will it happen again it won't no luck to help Chun this time goodness me can she do it Miwa she's one point away from a place in the last eight her rise is fast Probably following the footsteps of her brother, who won the previous match. Ooh, maybe that was forehand territory. It was half long and diggy. And that was a great receive from Chen Suyu. It was the opposite spin of what Mi Miwa threw at her. Unreal athleticism from Chan Su Yu. Miwa Hadamoto on the front foot. A drop shot attempt. And Chan Su Yu wins a point that you would count her out of usually. And the crowd here in Goa is going absolutely berserk looking at this level of women's table tennis, what India has not seen as yet. You have to love that. Even if you're Miwa Hadamoto, but she will not love the score. No. no. Where have these rallies come from from Chen Su Yu? And look at how both the players are rising up in their level of game. Suddenly we are pushed behind the table than what we've not seen so far. Definite entertainment level. The highest level for Miwa Haramoto stays up. And the same for Chen Su Yu. That is the highest level to play. But definite shot making ability that we're seeing is coming out here in the tighter moments. But it's Chun Su Yu that went back both times in the last two points. <laughs> this time she stays close. And Miwa Hanamoto wins the exchange. Another match point here for the Japanese jubilant junior. I wonder what's the heart rate of both these players at this point. They must be at 160, 180, <laughs> Fraser, what do you reckon? Very high. And we have some Japanese fans Hi to in you. the stands. How cute and lovely are they? Honestly, so the Japanese inspired. with their love of anime, passion for signs, everything about the Japanese culture, really, really lovely to see. And they bring it into the table tennis hall as well. And culture here and we medicine. have Miwa Harimoto leading 2-1, leading 13-12 in the fourth game, and she is having her serve. She has to plan, she has to figure out, can she put in a surprise, or should she just do the shovel serve that's been working so well for her? Well, because she's giving Chen Su Yu here with the timeout, time to realize that she's match point down and she really needs this point. I would go for a kicking serve. I'd go for a shovel, but I'd go for one that kicks up towards the backhand of Chen Su Yu because John will flick, she won't push, but the ball's going to kick with a little bit more topspin. I'd go for a short, kicking topspin serve, hook serve into Chen Su Yu's backhand. Let's see what she does though. And Could the last one. time she did was Chen Su Yu hit a top edge. Mm. Reverse pendulum and a forehand slap. Miwa Hanamoto is through. She beats Chen Su Yu for the second time. Another.